Hey there, it's Mark. Hot Wheels collectors love cars like this to where they're like a, uh, it's not a real car, but you know, it looks like a real vehicle as opposed to the character cars, but I love the character cars. They take a particular character and then turn it into a vehicle. Uh, I love that. Here is Olaf. I buy all of the character cars. As a matter of fact, on my Amazon page, there are some box sets. I have them in my multi-car box sets folder. If you're interested in some character cars for you or for gifts. And I'm going to open that up today. And there's another one right there. It's covered up. But I love the character cars. On the back, they show previous ones that have been released. Sometimes, you know, they show up again as Mattel reissues cars. They basically issue them as issue them in six car sets so when this batch was available or case that's what you got when Olaf was available this is basically what was in that set it seems sometimes they issue cases that have a mixture of the cars now the Mario Kart aren't technically character cars because there's the character they didn't change the vehicle to suit the character that's that's actually Yoshi riding it I think Yoshi is going to be a popular character for people to buy. Even if they're a Hot Wheels collector that just kind of likes Hot Wheels. You know, there's a lot of Nintendo, I mean, uh, Mario Kart fans, Nintendo fans. And they'll buy these too. So these tend to sell very well. Shy Guy, I like this one. And here is Dry Bones. <laughs> this one is definitely harder to find right now. It's a newer release. And they do the same thing to where on the back you can see the different cars but this isn't necessarily the mix the case uh, i'm not positive i don't buy cases of these so this might not have been available with all of these cars i'm not sure but uh they'll put the old cars sometimes these show up in the newer cases as well they kind of rotate things forward as they come out with new models uh new cars as they come out with new cars like this was a new car at the time. There's Shy Guy. Uh, these were older. So that's what they do. They, they keep reissuing them. And then they'll put new cars in the mix. One thing that's great about these packages is they stand up by themselves. And that's why I have this Scooby-Doo package. This is an older Hot Wheels Entertainment package. It had this nice flat bottom. I like how they put the uh, movie roll right here. So... It stands up nice by itself. Mm, I'm not sure. Retro entertainment. Uh, anyways. Now now the lines evolve to Hot Wheels Premium. It says Premium up here. That's a little too far. It says Premium and that's how they reissue these. The only thing is that uh, they no longer have that nice flat bottom. So, so they don't display like these. But the character cars display nice. They got this little nub on the bottom right here. And that helps keep it standing up. And goodbye, Scooby. Thank you for showing up. So let's talk about the Minions. The Rise of Gru. Yeah, they have a box set too. Just like the Disney set. I also have a link for these in my Amazon store. I think it was the Multicar Sets. I gave a link to the general store. And then there's different sections that I can create. Kind of a nice box set. Minions Character Cars. Six Car Collector Set. Young Gru is new. Uh, some of these actually, I, I, I don't, I didn't take the time to see if anybody's been reissued or some of these are definitely new. But it's a pretty neat box set. The only thing is, oh yeah, by the way, they're in singles as well. You might find these in the stores. So there is Young Gru. Oh, hey, it has that same image. They don't have the image of the character cars though, what they look like. This is still nice enough. But to be honest, I wonder if they put this image. I only bought this one because this one's unique compared to all the others because all the others are yellow so i bought this one for the card art these guys in the amazon set is they're loose they're they're not on the card and card collectors probably like that but if you just want to buy the car then i mean it's fine right because if you just want the cars hey why are you giving them side eye i don't know about that set i haven't opened it up yet but see how it has the line on the side of the package it doesn't open up the same as this one this one has a flap, and I didn't notice this until yesterday. You can open it up. There's a, uh, how did I open this up? Uh, is this the one I opened up? 
Yeah, I opened this one up before and peeked at it. I wasn't going to make a video, and then today I thought, I want to make a video. <laughs> Look what I found out. They have, it's like a, what are those holiday packages, holiday things to where you can open up one per day until Christmas comes. You can open it up. Let's check out Carl. Well, that didn't open up very, that didn't open very nicely. Not that it matters. Hey, Carl, what's happening? I'll put you on the turntable in a moment. Here comes Stuart. There's Stuart. See, they make it look like the character. They got one big eye. And he's got uh, like a protective, what is that, protective glasses? Or is that just his regular glasses? Let's see who's here. Bob. Look how they made him look different, too. Bob. Two eyes. Kind of looks like a... Kind of looks like the uh, Volkswagen or PT Cruiser, the the new Volkswagen Bug. Auto, two eyes. How's Auto going to look like? Oh, made it look like a pickup truck or, in if you're in Australia, a combi. Because it's a combination vehicle. I learned that from people. I live in the USA. I wouldn't know that. Kevin. Kevin. Kevin's kind of like a uh, bus. Or, yeah, kind of a bus. I was going to say minivan, but not so much a minivan. And Young Gru. Exactly the same, I think. Let's check the wheels. Yep. Five. These are uh, open hole, five spoke wheels. Exactly the same. Look at the top. Oh, man. Why did I do that? I'll be opening up that, too. Plus, I'm still going to be showing the Wonder Woman cars. Let's take a look at Bob. Bob, where are you going? Oh, man. Here's a close-up of Bob. It's nice to get him all at the same time in one nice six-car box set. If you like the car art, you can look for them in the stores. This one's kind of... What, what kind of car do you think this is? A Corvette in the base. All of these are probably plastic base. Production code on this is N12 right here by my thumb. N12 means it was produced in 2020. That's the N. Now, if you're fans of the movie, you already know the characters. You know, I casually watch the movies. I don't memorize everybody's character names. I don't see the movies more than once. Check it out. He's got hair and a spoiler. So he has a different design than the others. Kind of like a little go-kart, wouldn't you say? For this one, I was thinking about the new Volkswagen Beetle. And when I say new, I mean it's a few years old. It's not like the 60s and 70s Beetle. This guy is Bob. Hi, Bob. How are you doing, Bob? Got some taillight decorations. Got a license plate. Hmm, I wonder what that image is. What is that, a teddy bear? If so, I must have forgotten that from the movies. Here's Otto. No license plate, but it has brake lights. And check out in the back. He's, he's, he has, looks, is that a button or is that a gold coin? Very cool. And this, this is not movable. It's static, meaning it's in place. It stays like that. Nice decos. They all have the, basically the same color presentation. There's his, it almost seems like you can see his eyes behind the, uh, the glass. I wonder, if, I wonder if, that, if they did that on purpose to make it some type of illusion so you can make it seem like it's his eyes. I like this one. Up next is Kevin. You know how I know that? Well, not only did it say on the box, but it also says on his license plate. Very nice. Two eyes in front, and I'm sure you notice there's something on the roof. You can barely see it right there. See on top of the roof? You can see black. What is that? Is that a spider? No, I thought it was a spider. He's got like a sprout of hair on top. Last but not least, a unique car in the set, Young Gru. Of course it's unique. He's not a minion. Take a look at the top. He's an open wheel car open wheel because there's no fender protection on the wheels that's an open wheeler feels pretty heavy all of them feel pretty heavy they seem to have more metal than typical hot wheels cars i'm going to open up this set and one of these cars are exclusive to this set right after this break here you have it another amazon exclusive five of these cars actually are not exclusive one of them, one of these cars are actually exclusive to the set. 
not like Gru, not like the minion set, to where all six can be found in these single packages. None of these were exclusive in that yellow box set. One of these, Mattel says, is an exclusive. Let's see on the back. See, on this one, it shows the packages. I'm thinking that these cars are in this box on the card in the normal package. I hope so, because that's what they're showing. And yeah, you've seen it. There it is. There's the exclusive. It's nice to get this as a gift, or to give it as a gift. But for collectors, we already have all these. We're spending all the money just to get that one card. Well, that's how it goes. Maybe they will release Daisy Duck again, but in different colors. And sure enough, they are all packaged. I'll take a look at the exclusives right now. I still got to show you the brand new Wonder Woman. Oh, you've probably already seen Minecraft has a new car. SpongeBob has a new car. That'll be coming up next. I don't know which one is Minnie. Uh, uh, Minnie? No, Daisy. Daisy Duck is the exclusive. So on the back of the package, they show you the six cars that are in the set. And there is Daisy Duck exclusive. Let's see, which one do we pull out? We got Donald's truck. He's kind of like a pickup truck. Donald Duck? Donald Duck, the pickup truck. Get it? How about we pick this one? Ready, set, go. Nope. Minnie Mouse, look at that big bow, just like Minnie Mouse. And check out the wheels, very nice. They gave her wheels polka dots, just like her bow. Let's see, who is this? There she is, Daisy Duck, that's the exclusive. It doesn't say exclusive on the package. That's interesting, Daisy Duck exclusive. And there you go, Daisy Duck. She has a bow, a pink bow, just like her pink bow. Light purple or lavender fenders. And you see her mouth? See how her mouth is yellow or orange? Yeah, there it is. She's going to give you a kiss. Mwah. Daisy Duck. Mm, Donald Duck has been released. Is Donald Duck in this set? No. I think Donald Duck has been released already. Mm, I can't think off the top of my head. When I find him, I just buy him. This is pretty nice. Looks like, uh, looks like they made it out to be like uh, glasses. Or are those supposed to be her eyelashes, eyebrows. Anyways, there's the exclusive. Pretty nice wheels. Check them out. I'm trying to get the light in there without the glare. Oh, all my lights are uh, in the way. There we go. You can see right there. Pretty cool wheels. And we'll speed this up now that we found them. Mickey Mouse got special wheels just like Minnie Mouse. And I think this was in the first batch of character cars. Here you have Pluto. It's kind of like a station wagon or an old sedan from the 30s. Big heavy car. Pluto. And the last one in the box. Goofy. Now let's see. They're not the same car. You see how he just has driver and passenger windows? And this back area is solid. There's no window there. Well, Goofy. Very similar car, but it has windows. You can see right through. There's his hat on top, got brown wheels. Those are kind of regular Hot Wheels, five spoke Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels wheels. This is his button nose. Oh, he'll, he'll gorge. Now let me talk about this Minecraft car. That is Ocelot. I don't play Minecraft, but there's a look at the Ocelot. When you look at this car, what do you think? Does it uh, have an essence of the Ocelot in the game? You'd have to let me know. They did make it like blocky, like the pixelated or the little blocks in Minecraft. Now Minecraft, they've already released it before. I just have this one here because I told you how they'll show on the back other cars that uh, are available. This one actually is new. This one's brand new. Before it was a six car set. These were released, I don't know if it was 2019 or 2018, but all these cars were released already. I think all of them are re-released, but they added a new car. So that's kind of neat to get something new. Now, if for some reason you knew of a, uh, a die-cast dealer that sells cases, well, if, if you had these already before, you don't want to buy a case to get them all again just to get this car. So you're going to have to go check the pegs. 
This should be available at any store that sells character cars. I don't want to say the names of the cars because, you know, not all stores are in all areas. Speaking of Ocelot, wow. What do you think, Ocelot? What do you think? Is that, is that a pretty cool car? Uh, you better leave because this cheetah would eat you alive. This is for the Wonder Woman 1984 movie. Pretty cool. That's the cheetah. Check out the graphics. It's got a tail, just like a cheetah. This is the only one that I found. Now, I did find out that uh, as far as the cases, this one is only one per case for right now. I don't know if they will release more cases. But these are the various cars. This is actually part of the DC character cars assortment. Not necessarily Wonder Woman. But this one does get special card art for the WW84. Wonder Woman 1984 movie. So Wonder Woman right there. We're going to check it out. This one is a little bit different than previous releases. Uh, I'll show you. I think I can show you. This one's brand new. The golden armor car. And there's Cheetah. Batman Rebirth. That's a, That was released in a different movie, right? And I don't know if the card art got new card art or not. I'm not picking it up. I have enough of the other release. I didn't notice any difference in the decos. Now that I think about it, I better double check. Superman, Robin 2.0T, and the Joker Hot Rod. These cars, uh, I, I don't think there was any variation. I did not pick them up. So I just picked up the Wonder Woman cars. These three cars, I should say. And here is the actual Wonder Woman car. This car has had a few color decorations. This one is, this is kind of how it usually is. And then they change it. This is a glossy red. You can see the gold, this blue right here. Sometimes they'll change the color a little bit. Now this one, I noticed with the other cars, there'll be a color stripe right here on the base, which is, that's actually part of the base. That's a red base. So this little red stripe on the bottom is the base. So a previous release had a different color base. So you'll wind up with the base appearing right there to give it a different appearance. Um, Mattel calls this one first appearance or a uh, new color. Or I forgot what they call it. It's pretty much the same as it has been before. This one is brand new. Uh, I don't think that this tooling has been released before. And when I say tooling, if you don't know, it means the actual casting of this body style. So here you have WW84 Golden Armor, real shiny, just like gold. I haven't looked back here before. No, no decorations. Pretty cool car. Looks like it'll be track compatible. Now, I like collecting all of these, but you will definitely be seeing them in a new series coming to the Track Time channel. And this one will eventually appear as well. All the car backs are going to be the same. That was it. One, two, three. Now let's talk about SpongeBob. This will be the last. Let's do it this way. This will be a little bit easier to reach. SpongeBob, brand new car. Same thing, just like Ocelot. Now here you have the SpongeBob SquarePants cars. These are the ones in the current set. All of these have been released before, except for that one right there, Sandy Cheeks. Brand new car. I was glad to find it on my trip to Medford, Oregon. I was attending a wedding and so it was i was super glad to find this because uh, it's the only new car that i need i already have all the other ones it's pretty cool see the flower right there they even have the flower on the roof see it pretty cool i got the flower on the roof i'm not familiar with the character i don't remember it now on the back let's see you have spongebob square pants and kind of a van type vehicle so there's SpongeBob in the van. Kind of looks like it could be an ice cream truck, huh? Let's see who's next. Patrick. Patrick. There's Patrick. As far as I know, no changes. This is an older card, by the way. I'm sorry. I should have mentioned that. This is a new card art. You have the ocean and then you have the sand. So this is, this might have been, I think this was the first release for the SpongeBob cards. And one reason I'm pretty sure it's the first, well, we'll get there. So now we got Patrick, Squidward. There's Squidward. Pretty cool looking car. Check out those, that exhaust. After Squid, Squidward, we have Plankton. Here's Plankton. Love collecting these cars. Even if I 
even if I don't watch the show. I just love collecting these cars. They're very nicely done. So next to Plankton is Mr. Krabs. You can see it's red and blue. There he is. Red and blue. Kind of a uh, classic car style. Wow, look at those engines. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten cylinders. Boy, that's a that's a monster car. It's got a lot of uh, horsepower. And let's see. Last up. Oh, Sandy's Cheeks. I already showed you Sandy Cheeks. So why do I have a package sitting right there? Well, yeah, in the at least in the first series, there was another SpongeBob car. You have the SpongeBob Hot Rod. Oh, yeah. Like this, kind of a, a little bit like a bone shaker, hey? Wouldn't it be cool if they had the SpongeBob SquarePants eyes in the front? Oh, <gasps> look at that. I don't know if that SpongeBob's, those are his teeth? I, maybe, what do you think? So it's kind of a shame that they have not re-released this one. It is nice to get new cars like this. And same with the other ones I showed you. With this, remember, you don't have to open the flaps. You can actually keep this closed if you want to keep a, a nice display. And you can actually cut the tape right here and then slide the cars out that way if you would like. This one, look, you can, the box opens up and it stays very nice as well. Like I said, they are on my Amazon page. Thank you very much for checking it out. Click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and happy collecting. Bye-bye.